giving to the committee today three years of Mr. Trump's personal financial statements from 2011, 2012, and 2013, which he gave to Deutsche Bank to inquire about a loan to buy the Buffalo Bills. Now, if you watched Michael Cohen's congressional testimony today, your ears might have perked up there when you heard the words Buffalo Bills. Yeah, they sure did. Cohen, of course, was the president's lawyer when he was trying to buy the team a few years ago, and he says that he broke the law when he was doing it. Sports director Adam Benini spoke with attorney Cohen when that was all happening five years ago, and he's here now with us tonight. And Adam, what was he actually like during that process? Well, I'll tell you what, as you said, I mean, during the sale of the bill, Scott Mariellis, Cohen was the guy you'd reach out to as Donald Trump's lead attorney, trying to get whatever information you could with regard to Trump's bid for the team. Remember, the parties were bound by confidentiality agreements, so he certainly was not willing to get into specifics in terms of financials or many other details having to do with the bid. Generally speaking, though, I would say Cohen was extremely boastful about Trump, his ability to buy the team and keep it in Buffalo. Uh, it became well known that Trump bid a billion dollars with the bills ultimately going, of course, to Terry and Kim Pagula for $1.4 billion. And I would say that as Pagula emerged as the favorite in the process, Cohen was, was realistic about Trump's chances. But having said that, I mean, looking at the overall context, the big picture, looking back, th there was no chance Trump was going to be the owner of the Buffalo Bills. I mean, there was bad blood with owners dating back to the USFL days and the lawsuit that Trump led against the league. I think they kept Trump around in the bidding process, along with a Bon Jovi group that had an interest in moving the team to Toronto. You might remember the Wilson estate never would have sold to them. Both were there to drive Pagula to pay again $1.4 billion for the team, which was a record for an NFL franchise at the time. As it turns out, Donald Trump had a better chance of getting elected president than being owner of the Buffalo Bills. Adam Benini, Channel 2 Sports.